Hi everyone, it's Laura here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how to create a card with die cuts only using products by Spellbinders. For today's project I will be using dies from the Spellbinders Tammy Tatero collection. This one right here is from the Sue Sweet Valentine collection and I will use it to build the elements for my card. And for my sentiments, I will use some of the dies in the Sue Sweet sentiments. This die set has several word dies that you can combine to create different sentiments and also comes with two heart dies. And these products, by the way, as I'm recording this voiceover, are on sale on the Spellbinders website. I will list a link all the products that I used in my blog post, which you will find linked in the description box down below. But now let's move on to today's card. I went ahead and off camera I die cut all the elements from some Windsor & Newton Cotman watercolor cardstock. And I am starting with the large square die cut and I'm adding color to it using Distress Oxides and the ink smooshing technique. So I pressed my tumbled glass ink pad on my Easy Clean mat. I activated it with water and then you saw me flip the paper upside down and sort of dip it in the ink. And now I am drying this first layer of ink using my heat gun. Before moving on and adding more color and more layers. And to add a little bit of intensity, I decided to use Mermaid Lagoon. So again, I am pressing the ink pad on my work surface. I'm going to use my Distress Sprayer to activate the ink. And then I'm going to sort of dip my paper here and there. You can see I'm trying to put the ink just in specific areas. I dried this second layer again with my heat tool and then I decided to add a little bit more color especially to the sides of this panel which will be the ones that will be visible in the end and I'm using again tumbled glass and the ink smooshing technique. For my heart die cut I am also using Distress Oxides but this time I am blending them using a mini ink blender. I first coated the entire area with Spun Sugar Distress Oxide and then I came in with Worn Lipstick Distress Oxide and with that I sponged only the edges of the heart in order to create dimension and more interest on my die cut. Because I wanted to add some subtle shine to my project I decided to use Nouveau Mousses for my scalloped heart. I picked the color Lilac Lavender and I applied it over the entire area using a makeup sponge. I also die cut a bunch of leaves and flowers using the smaller dies in the Sue Sweet Valentine set and I will be using again the ink smooshing technique as I did on my background to add some color to those die cuts too. For the leaves I am using Twisted Citron and Mod Lawn. And again, I am pressing the ink on my mat, activating it with water and then really quickly dipping the die cuts in the ink. And as you can see, I'm trying not to drag the die cuts on the ink because I'm not going for a full coverage type of look, but I want to create texture and interest. I started by dipping them in the Twisted Citron. I am now drying this first layer with my heat tool and then I will dip them in the mod lawn. And this is a really quick and easy way to add color and texture to your die cut. I have used it in a previous video where actually I have used distress inks to add color to floral stamped images and I will link to that video at the end of this one in case you'd like to have a look. I repeated the same steps to add color to my florals and for the ones on the left I used seedless preserves and picked raspberry distress oxides and for the ones on the right side I used shaded lilac and blueprint sketch. So as I did for the leaves I added the first color, it was seedless preserves and shaded lilac. I dried that layer really well with my heat gun 
And now I'm adding a second layer of color with picked raspberry and blueprint sketch. The last element I need is my sentiment. And for that I die cut the words my sweetheart from some watercolor cardstock using the Sue Sweet Sentiment dies. I am using a distress blending brush to add some very soft shading to the die cuts and I used my distress oxides in picked raspberry and seedless preserves. At this point everything was ready and I could start assembling my card. I used some double sided adhesive to glue my scalloped heart in the center of my square card base and I am using the grid on my glass mat to make sure that I have it exactly in the center of the base itself. And then I added the other heart on top also using some double sided adhesive. And you can see that off camera I added some splatters with a distress oxide in worn lipstick to add some more texture to this piece so that it would tie in nicely with the rest of the card. I had previously arranged the florals on my card base. I took a picture with my phone and I'm now using this picture as a reference to help me create two clusters. One will be on the top right and one will be on the bottom left of my card. And to glue down my florals I am using Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive so that I have some time to shift things in place and get them positioned exactly as I want. And I'm also trying to alternate different colored florals and the leaves so that I get some nice contrast and the individual die cuts are distinguishable from one another. Finally, I die cut my sentiments two more times from some white cardstock and I stack the die cuts on top of each other so that I have some nice dimension and the sentiment stands out from the background. And I glue that to my card base using some Nouveau glue. And here you can see the finished project. I really love all the texture and I love that subtle shimmer brought in by the Nouveau Mousse. And this will certainly make for a great card, but you could also frame it and turn it into some really cute home decor. And that's it for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below, give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. You can visit my blog for the full list of supplies and I'll catch you guys soon with the next one. Ciao!